I think you should really understand the market. So the market is key. And first time angel investors tend to kind of get very excited about the entrepreneur, the product, the service that's being offered. Um, you know, angel investing is very exciting and lots of people just kind of jump on board and say, well, I find the next best thing, or the next thing since the next best thing since sliced bread. And, um, and they really don't do enough homework. And I think that homework is just really part of the process and it's easy to get caught up in the excitement of it all and it's easy to get caught up in an entrepreneur's passion and excitement. Um, and so then they don't look at the market, they don't look at the actual product, they don't look at the technology, they don't look you know, what are the biggest pitfalls. So you don't do enough homework. Depending on the angel investor, if they're investing in a lot or just a few, um, those that are investing in just a couple tend to be very excited and they become real brand ambassadors. So they don't stop talking about what they invest in. So from dinner parties to you know, business meetings, this is top of mind all the time, the two or three investments they've made. And, um, and so it's great PR per se. I think for startups that are, that are very tech focused and innovation focused, it's, it's really about finding two or three key markets. So you know, um, people could approach you from somewhere that's not potentially a key market or a key source for talent or a key infrastructure place um, to grow or to expand. Um, you might have one or two small opportunities and you get side railed. And so it's really identifying those two or three countries where you really want to be present for one reason or another. I think startups really need to create um, a value add and be able to have a 30 second pitch and really do what they're seeing they're going to do um, and do it very well with a very strong team in their home base first. Once they're strong at home, whether their home market is small or large, once they're comfortable there and they really craft what they're trying to do, then they can look outside their home market. And again, I go back to it needs to be for a particular reason. I'm going to this country because X, because Y, not just haphazardly extend. It needs to be very strategically planned. No, and we've seen startups that have gone from local to global. So they've said it doesn't make sense for me to go to anywhere in the region. People in Latin America appreciate my product more. And all of a sudden, they're you know, one country in the Middle East and three countries in Latin America. Um, and that works for them. But wherever you're going, it needs to be thought through. It just can't be by chance. It can't be because someone approached you and said, oh, I want to do, or I want to help, and, but I live you know, 2,000 miles away, and so all of a sudden this is what you're doing. Um, it needs to be part of a, a plan, and there needs to be a lot of process behind it. Um, I think... You know, when it comes to tech and innovation, it's, um, you know, it's, it, it's interesting to see the different ways people pitch. Um, so those that you meet randomly, I, mean, I just met someone who I asked her, oh, what, do you, what does your company do? And her reaction was, well, I'm not sure yet. And I'm like, okay, well, what do you mean you're not sure yet? And then she started explaining me her story and how she got into it. And, and so for me, that kind of pitch is just a, a lot more entrapping and enthralling than someone telling me what they do. It's kind of someone telling me why they're doing it. Um, and so when she's telling me about it, all of a sudden, you know, my, my feelings are, well, I want to be involved in this because this is so cool. I don't know what you're doing yet, um, but your story is amazing. So I think that when it does come to kind of unconventional ways of pitching, and, you know, and a lot of entrepreneurs are good at this, it's about sharing the story and the passion rather than the product. Right.